In this video, we are going to start talking about uh, a little bit of the idea of linear equations, but before we do that, we're going to make sure that we are comfortable with graphs, plotting points, uh, the coordinates, uh, quadrants, kind of some of the terminology that goes with an X and a Y axis. Okay, so um, first thing is basically you're connecting to, when you, when you connect this grid here, you're connecting to number lines basically. And we have a horizontal, which is the X axis. And we have a vertical axis known as the Y axis. And that makes four different sections known as quadrants. So we have four quadrants. All right, so we got four quadrants and here's how you number them. That we start in the upper right and this is quadrant one and we use Roman numerals to number these quadrants. This is not quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Oops. Roman numerals. Okay, so it always starts in the upper right and it kind of goes in a counterclockwise fashion. Um, and then this value right here in the middle where these two um, axes cross is known as the origin. Okay, so when we plot points, everything's going to build from the origin. So when we plot points, each point that you have consists of an X value and a Y value. So the X value is your horizontal value. So AKA your left and right movement from the origin. And then the Y value represents your vertical movement, your up or down movement from the origin. Okay, so um, let's talk about a couple points here. So if you're sitting here at point A, we want to describe, um, basically give the coordinate to it, that uh, we're looking at what's the left and right value from the origin. So that A is one, two, three to the right and up two. So point A is three to the right and up two. Okay, point B is two to the left. And if we're going left, we're treating that as a negative and down one also being treated as a negative. Okay, so point A is in quadrant one, point B is in quadrant three. Okay, so point C is uh, one, two, three, four to the left. So negative four and up one, two, three. Okay. And then point D is one to the right. And one, two, three, four down. All right, we're gonna add one more point on here and let's say we're gonna call it this point right here and we'll call it an E. Okay, this one lands on the axis. It lands on the Y axis specifically. So there is no left and right movement. So my my X, my left and right movement is zero. And then we're just down instead. So it's just a Y value. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're down six. Okay, so that's how you deal with something that's on the X axis or on the Y axis. There is no left and right movement, just up and down movement. If you had a point on the X axis, there'd be no up and down movement. So no Y value, your Y value would be zero, just left and right movement. Okay, so it definitely can happen. All right, and then um, let's plot a couple points. So if point A was at three, one, we would go to the right three, up one. We'll do this as accurate as we can. So that's point A, make sure I label it. And then point B is left two, up five. So left two, up five. So that's point B. Oh, and we're supposed to be saying which quadrants these are in. So point A is in the first quadrant, point B is in the second quadrant, negative uh, three, so left three, down two, point C is in the third quadrant, 
and you got to use Roman numerals. That's what they represent our quadrants. And then we are right one down three, right one down three. So quadrant four. So that's part point D quadrant. Four. All right. So that's just a little bit of some terminology and kind of what we got going on. Um, some names, some quadrants, and how you plot some points. All right. So. Um, These next kind of chunk of points are all points that have zeros in them, which means you're going to be on an axis, whether it's an X axis or a Y axis, just depends on where your zeros are. So if you're at two zero, we're right two, but not up and down. So we are right two, not up and down. So we are just going to land on that axis. Okay. Uh, it's not a, you're not in a quadrant you're on an axis. So when they say, what quadrant are you in? You're not in either because you are on the X axis. So the answer really would be none, but we're just adding in a little extra. Uh, if you are zero two, zero two, you are not in a quadrant, you're on an axis and that one is the Y axis. And then if you're at negative two, but zero, you're not up and down at all, just left two. What was B, this is C. This is back to the x-axis. And if you're at zero, negative two, you are not in a quadrant, you are on the y-axis. All right, so something to kind of pay attention to is, if you are on the x-axis, means there's no height to it. So your y values will always be zeros. If you are on the y-axis, there's no left and right. So then on the y-axis, you'll always have x values of zero. Okay. Um, and yeah, we'll just end there. That was just, that was a, a little bit of just plotting some points and some terminology related to graphing points.